What are cotton walls and how to model them? Today, in this episode of Revit Beginner Program, we are going to talk about just that. So let's get started. The cotton walls are non-structural walls, generally made of lightweight materials like glass or metal. So to create a cotton wall in Revit, we'll have to go into Architecture tab under Wall Tool. Let's scroll down the Type Selector and find all the way the cotton wall family. Now, because generally the cotton walls are made of glass, the default types that are available in your template would also be made of glass panels. But if you would like to change the glass panel to something else, it's definitely possible. But we'll look into that later. Let's start with default cotton wall type. Go and set its height to level 1. So this wall is going from level 0 all the way to level 1, which is about 4 meters in height. Let's draw a wall of about 6 meter in length. Let's go to 3D view to check. So this is a big glass, 6 meter wide and 4 meter high. But can a, such a big glass stand on its own? Probably not. So we'll have to divide this big glass into smaller pieces of glass that can be constructed. So let's select this wall and go into the type properties. Let's duplicate and create our own custom curtain wall. So you can divide your glass vertically and horizontally. Let's start with vertical grids. Let's change the layout to fixed distance of about 900 millimeters. So we want to divide our glass vertically at every 900 millimeters. I'm going to say OK to this. There we go. The justification of this cotton wall is beginning. It means it has started dividing the glass every 900 millimeters and the remaining error is left at the end. You can also choose to make it center, which means the remaining error is going to be divided equally at both ends. So let's go back to type properties and divide our glass horizontally. This time, instead of choosing fixed distance, I want to choose fixed number. I'm going to say OK to this. The actual number of divisions that you would like to have in your wall is governed by instance properties. The rule, you set it up in the type properties, but then actual numbers, you give it in instance properties. So let's say I want to create three horizontal grids, which makes four divisions. Then it's going to create equal distance, three grids horizontally. Now let's go ahead and select our cotton panel. Sometimes if you find it difficult to select your cotton panel, go near the cotton panel, press tab, when it highlights the cotton panel, go and select it. In its property, we can see the width is 900 millimeters. And because there are four equal parts, it, the height of the wall is 4 meters. So the cotton panel's height is 1000 millimeters exactly. Now we have divided our glass into constructible smaller parts. Now what we need is mullions, the metal frames to support our glass. So let's go into the type properties of our wall and choose a vertical mullion for our wall. In the interior types, so all these interior vertical grids, let's assign probably rectangular mullion of 30 mm square. For the borders, border 1 and border 2, you can choose the same or a little bit bigger depending on your design. In this case, I'm going to choose 50 by 150 mm border 1 and border 2. I'm going to say OK to this. You can see that we have a bigger section on two borders and vertical grids are supported by 30 mm square rectangular mullions. Let's do the same for horizontal. Let's choose 30 mm for interior. Border 1 is 50 by 150 and border 2 is 50 by 150. Border 1 and border 2. Top and bottom basically. So let's go and say hit OK. Let's change the join condition so that borders are continuous. Let's go back to the type properties. Change the join condition to border and vertical grid continuous. So border is continuous and the vertical grids are continuous. You can choose a different join condition as per your requirement. Curtain walls have three elements. Curtain panel, which is your glass. Curtain grid how you have divided the glass, and mullions, how you support that glass. All of these three elements can completely be customized. And we are going to learn all about that customization in the next few videos. So please make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned. 
I'll see you in the next episode.